Hello everybody. I have a Honda snowblower model HS80 track drive that looks very similar to the one in this picture and it needs a new auger belt. So I did some online shopping and the first website I found showed the correct part number, a Honda part number 22432 736A01 uh, also referred to as an LB-33 this is what the genuine Honda replacement part looks like. It's made by Mitsuboshi. It's an LB33 S Gold, which I believe stands for Super Gold. And it's my understanding this belt is not sold in North America other than through Honda. Now that I had the Honda part number, I went searching for an alternative replacement part. And one of the first items I stumbled across was this one. But notice the 37 inch dimension, which was somewhat surprising to me because I had assumed that perhaps the LB-33 manufacturer's part number meant the belt had a length closer to 33 inches. So now I needed to investigate this further. This particular offering shows the belt in question is a 34 inch belt, not a 37 inch belt. So how do I resolve the discrepancies? After a lot of searching, I was able to come up with this Mitsuboshi catalog. You'll notice here it's the Super Gold. I'll point out that it says S Gold on the Honda part, but their brochure says Super Gold. And if you scroll down here a little bit, you'll see that the, there's an A and a B dimension. And the A dimension is the width of the belt at the top. The B dimension is the thickness and according to this page the LB50 designation stands for the belt type LB and the nominal length in inches so LB33 would be a nominal 33 inch length uh, more about that in a moment so as you get down to here you'll see that the Super Gold 1000 has reverse bend durability in the case of the auger belt I think that that is very important because the idler this is a reverse bend in the belt. So not every V-belt works well when they're subjected to reverse bend applications. So let's scroll down a little bit further here. You can see that the belt type LB has a 16.5 millimeter width and a 9.8 millimeter thickness. And the belt nominal length is defined as the nominal length is the effective pitch length in inches. So this data sheet provides some clarity around the actual dimensions of this belt. What is effective pitch length? Here's the definition of belt pitch length according to the Gates Rubber Company. It says the pitch length of a belt is the length of the pitch diameter of the sheaves or shivs if you prefer to pronounce it that way. Classical industrial belts are specified in terms of pitch length. So what this tells me is that the pitch length is not the outer circumference of the belt, nor is it the inner circumference of the belt. It is a dimension somewhere between the two of those. Here you can see the dimensions of the genuine Honda replacement belt. I measured an outside circumference to the best of my ability at about 34 and a half inches and the inner circumference at 31 and 7 eighths. And the spec sheet says that the width of the belt at the top is 16.5 millimeters and 9.8 millimeters thick. Those dimensions seem to be reasonable based on my measurements. So if you're looking for an alternative brand, you might want to consider an MXV5-340, which has dimensions that are quite close. I would recommend you avoid using a conventional 5L340 or a B31 belt. I don't think these belts are heavy duty enough. You want a belt that has an aramid fiber, also referred to as Kevlar. Kevlar happens to be a DuPont brand for an aramid fiber. You need an aramid fiber belt for this particular application for the auger if you want to get long life. I got one season out of a 5L340 high quality USA made belt. And lastly, in conclusion, I don't know where the 37 inch belt comes into play. I don't see any dimensions here in this application that warrant a belt with a 37 inch or circumference. 
hope that helped you. If uh, it did, please subscribe to my channel or give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and good luck.